Okay. <laughs> Little baby, I don't wanna lie. I know when you Welcome to Trek part two. This week I'm going to Ontario. I'm driving. I'm not really staying that long, but that's fine. So it's 9.31 right now. I finished training at 9, but I finished a little early, stayed at the gym, did report cards, um, and I just finished now, got in the back, changed out of my suit, which was uncomfortable, and I'm bleeding. Tape my Snapchat story, and then we're gonna get started. I'm heading first to Quebec to see my friend, from Quebec to Ottawa, from Ottawa to Ontario, where I live, and then from Ontario to where I live, to Guelph to stay at my friend Jaden's. <sighs> This is gonna be a long one. We're looking at 19 hours. Welcome to day one. We're gonna start with driving jams. Am I tired? Not really. I mean, was I tired during training? Absolutely, I was zoning out, but I think I'm like in the hype stage now. Let's go get our first available coffee. I can hit refresh and forget. Okay, so what I wanted to say was today I got winter tires put on, and yesterday I put my Did new camera tripod on. Should drive seven west for one. Uh, I do need to tighten the screws on it, which is why it's already tilted, but that's basically the story. I do think, I'm realizing now that I might have put it out of reach from myself, so. I'll update you guys like every hour or so. Tonight I'm not expecting to do a shirt ton. Oh my god, the van is fucking. Is that the same van? I think there's a van. No, that's a truck, it's fine. Okay, it's 10 o'clock, I'm at my first stop. I'm getting Tim's. Hi. Any chance I can get this filled with water? Thank you. Oh, this isn't mint. Okay, coffee break number one of probably 6,000. I'm like barely in the tired stage. And it's also 10. No chance in hell I'm sleeping now. Oh, I was gonna download movies. Whatever, I'll just listen to music. <laughs> I just got a taste. In less than two kilometers, we will be arriving in Amherst, I want to say, New Brunswick, I think. Oh my god, let's go to PI, I've never been! It's 10.33, which means we are officially starting, like, finished the first hour of 12 hours to Quebec. And I feel like it's going pretty a-okay. There's a toll, you have to pay $4 cash, and I have no cash on me. <laughs> at all whatsoever and I'm like what do you do if you don't have cash and he goes you need cash and I'm just looking at him and I'm like what do you do if you don't have cash and he's like there's a sign that says you need cash and I'm like bruh so then he was like gonna take my license plate number down and I don't know it off by heart like I know it but I'm gonna update the story cuz we're an hour and a half in I'm about to piss my pants so I might have to exit soon where the frick am I? I'm in Nova Scotia still. I thought I was in New Brunswick, man. Am I tired? Like, I don't know. I feel like tired, but I also feel like super ready to run a marathon at the same time. I think it's because I'm excited. It's one degree out, which is nice, but the closer we get to Ontario, the colder it's getting, which is usually the other way around, because everyone's like, oh, you live in Nova Scotia? <laughs> I hope you got a winter jacket. And I'm like, you're so Continue funny. Continue away for 163 kilometers. Welcome to hour two, just finishing. It's 11.20, at 11.30 it'll officially be two hours done. I'm at my second stop. I went pee because I was about to piss myself. I got a maple dip donut. I finished my other coffee, I chugged it. I got an ice cap and I got a croissant for when I get snacked. I'm gonna send a picture to my friend because we have a joke about this. Okay, I don't need gas, but I'm at a gas station, so I'm gonna fill up, why not? I'm just taking a little break. I've been on Snapchat. Not tired yet. A year ago today, we all went out to celebrate my birthday at Tramp. And I sent it to a bunch of people who was there, who were there. And Sophie was like, only me and Annie are left. Oh, wait. Okay, let's go get gas. Thanks, lighting. Let's get gas. Mmm. It's cold as balls. I'm in New Brunswick. I cannot remember if I updated you guys. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I'm by the Bay of Fundy. Um, it's giving me PTSD to when we came here for Easterns and we went on a six hour bus tour right after getting off the plane and all I wanted to do was not that. And it was like raining and we had to walk around. It was beautiful, but I did not want to do that. Anyways, I'm on my way to Walmart. 
I'm gonna hopefully I don't know I don't I highly doubt it's a 24 hour one but on the off chance it is I would like to buy batteries so I could blow up my air mattress really gotta pee so like I don't know if that's gonna be in a parking lot or inside somewhere but that's gonna happen soon less than halfway through my second coffee and we're in the city I think well city I see a very 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 large circle I need to go in and it looks like some sort of it's roundabout this is a roundabout this is a pond that you drive in a circle around this is not a roundabout. I'm gonna piss my pants, like, now. I'm gonna run in. Hopefully, hopefully, I can pee. If not, I will yeet this car across the street faster than you know. Okay, let me catch you up on what's happened in the last, like, less than hour, 30 minutes kind of thing. So basically, I really had to pee. I got in that, like, weird roundabout again, and I don't know what happened. It's super dark. I don't know how it happened, but I ended up on the highway, and I don't know if I was going the wrong way or if this truck was going the wrong way, but this truck starts head on, like he was coming, and I was like, oh my God, is he coming towards me? And then I was like, oh no, there's like three lanes in between us. And then this man yeets three lanes over, and I and is just driving head first towards me, and I'm like, oh my God. So I move a little, and he swerves a little, but towards me, and so I like kind of slam on it, I hit the horn, I swerve off of the highway, I go onto the grass and I come back up around, continue going on the highway. And I see a car going the other direction of me and I couldn't tell if there was a yellow divider or not. So I was like, just to play it safe, I, and I threw a U-turn and I headed back towards the other direction. I don't even, I don't even know what happened. Then I went to a superstar thinking that it would be 24 hours and it wasn't. I really was like on the verge of peeing my pants at this point. So I just went behind a Staples. I peed. That's just how it be sometimes, my friends. I'm now at a Sobeys that's 24 hours looking for batteries to blow up my mat. After I blow up my mattress, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Cause I'm like wide awake. I have a lot of adrenaline going, but I think it's, it's good for tonight. I made it to a Walmart. Blowing up the mattress. It's five in the morning. Oh my god. Sweater, my bajaha and jacket, two fuzzy blankets, and I'm freezing. <laughs> go. It's so cold. It's 5.51 right now. Okay, I'm gonna brush my hair while the car warms up. I can't feel my fingers. Comfort, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10, but I had an air mattress in the back, so that's why. Coldness, I'd give it a 30 out of 10, or a make it below 50. That was the ah! plan. Because I just spent so many hours now, and I've only got two hours of sleep. I only got three hours of driving done. was a good stretch. <laughs> I pulled off because I want to go to the bathroom. I want to get a coffee from McDonald's and I want to take a nap. 7.20, gas time. I didn't get gas because I parked on the wrong side. There we go. Perfection. 
It's nine o'clock now, uh, which means I was like napping or like trying to sleep for two hours and a half, and I did sleep. I'm gonna keep going now. I got. I'm gonna get there at five. I have eight hours. Less than a thousand kilometers though. We're at 827, so here we go. And I don't say. It's 11:47 right now. We're about five hours in, or like going to hit five hours, I think now. At 12, it'll be five hours, I think. Or six. I don't even know. Anyways. I don't know how much is left because I realized I was just like staring at the map the whole time being like Kate time's not moving so I'm not gonna check it until 12 I've got 186 kilometers of gas left and we're still in New Brunswick but I feel like I must be getting close to Quebec at this point because I've been driving for a very long time I'm hungry I don't want to pull off because every time I do it gets like worse weather and I don't know if I told you guys but it's snowing and it's also like just white out there. It was like really foggy for a while, but it ain't bad now. And there's not really any cars at all around me whatsoever, so that's nice. We're back. Ew. It's like hella wet on the ground and it's below zero, so it's probably gonna freeze. I'm at five hours today so far. And on the GPS, I have uh, five hours and 33 minutes to go, so that's cool. Halfway. This is on the, the weather. I don't even know. Our man. decision on this matter is not subject to congressional no approval. I'll think about it. She'll think about it. She'll think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You can't see anything. And that's what I'm driving in. I know it's like hailing, and I. It's so foggy, I can't see anything. I can like really only see the car in front of me. It was really snowy like a few minutes ago kind of thing, like on the ground. So we were going like 80, but now there's not much snow on the ground. So we're going but like picking up the pace. Cause you know, hail is less likely to spin out on. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm filming myself, sorry. Um, but yeah, so we are seven hours into the drive and I'm supposed to get there at four and it's two. So, ew. Clock at the wrong time, so I was like kind of confused. So it's one right now. I'm supposed to get there for five, and I just made it out. <laughs> so now it's like kind of bright and pretty. Not pretty, but bright. It's stressful. Kind of thought I was gonna die. And if you look like behind me, which you can't see, but I can see, it's just like black. I'm about to piss my pants. It's 2:16. I'm in Quebec still, and you can't turn right on red. So like, I don't know. Traffic is moving slow. In. Two hours left of the drive. I don't know if I want to nap now or nap then. Okay, bye bye. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> so I pulled off and I'm gonna take a nap. It's 3.30. My new time of arrival is 5.30, but I'm gonna take a nap, so it'll be later. I need to sleep. That was me. We're back on the road again. It's 4.20. Good night's rest right there. You know, sleeping wasn't bad. I wasn't very cold, but I'm cold now. Uh, went to the bathroom, and we're on the road again, and hopefully the next time I exit will be the last exit for a while. So we're gonna go see my friend from Tramp, who's also away at school, and then we get back on we do two more hours later, and then we stay for the night. <sighs> Good I stopped because I had like three hours to go because of traffic, but now because it's like kind of passing traffic time, um, it's only gonna be two hours. If you love somebody, better tell them how they This concludes day two, 16 hours, I'm done. I'm at University of Ottawa. Oh my God, my butt hurts bad. Day three in the car. Last night I was with Julie and that was really flipping fun. Uh, we were up to like 
3 a, well, 2 a.m. Ontario time, which is like 3 a.m. for me because I've adjusted to the other time zone. I am back in Quebec. <laughs> There's a drive through Tim's right here. I'm gonna grab some food. I'm starving. It's uh, 10 a.m. Hi, can I get a chicken bacon ranch wrap and a small ice cap made with chocolate milk? Thank you. Thank you. Yellow. I just took a 20 minute nap, so let's go. I'm home, oh my god. I'm like, I was reader Jim. Eight minutes away, it's three o'clock. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna play with the dogs, I'm gonna see my family, and then we head out on the road again to go to the gym to see the teammates, of course. I've just been chilling. It, um, after my nap and the exposure is exploding. 